because now when I was starting my video from looking down towards Hall Town area from St. Thomas Church. And I'm now looking towards the roundabout, the Lawrence Johnson roundabout, which is situated just outside of St. Thomas Parish Church, which is on Highway 2A. So St. Thomas Church is situated along Highway 2A, which is best referred to as the Ronamap Highway. It was later renamed the Ronamap Highway in 1996 after the highway underwent construction. It was the construction was carried over by a state group of companies and the highway starts from by Simpson Waters in Warrens and will end at Minor Quarter in St. Peter which is to the north of the island. So the highway starts from Warrens, runs through St. Thomas, which is at the centre, and St. James, which is northwest, into St. Peter, which is to the north of the island. So many people use this route daily to get to the north or the west of the island instead of having to go on the busy west coast for a long time with the minibuses, the big blue and yellow buses or the yellow buses with the blue stripe. People use this road regularly to get to their destinations faster. People even use it to get to Rock Hall in St. Thomas as well. Rock Hall is just east of St. Thomas Church, where I'm looking to know. Rock Hall is just east of St. Thomas Church, and that, would, that is the first freedom village in Barbados, where the English landed, where the English settled when they landed in Barbados in 16. I mean, in 18. What am I saying? Rock Hall was the first freedom village sorry where the slaves settled after slavery in 1838 so Rock Hall is east of St. Thomas Church and we're all on content will be along that road as well when we get to the Rock Hall content junction it is like a white junction the left turn will take you back to Rock Hall freedom village and back to Barker Corner or Quarry Spring and the right turn will take you back to Content and back to Vault Loose and back to Jukes and Lane Castle as well and this way will take you back to the west of the island via Hull Town in the parish of St. James where the slaves I mean where the English landed when they settled in Barbados in 1627 they landed in Hull Town you can even see the sunset from here as well this is St. Thomas Parish Church here, which was established in 1836. This road will take you by the Sea View on Lassell's Hill and back to Hall Town in St. James. And straight ahead will take you back to St. James as well, via the Port Bay Sugar Factory, which is the lawn working sugar factory in Barbados. Port Bay is situated in a place called Blowers, which is also in St. James. And it will take you back to the north of the island as well. And this road here will take you back to the Warrens, back to the south, back to the Warrens, Redmond's village, Bagatel, and back to the ABC highway as well.
opposite St. Thomas Church will be Lighting Power Substation, which is at actual St. Thomas. And again, we are in close proximity to Mount Hillaby, which is the highest point in Barbados as well. Mount Hillaby is 1,116 feet. And it borders St. Andrew and St. Thomas. Mount Hillaby just up the road. You can see all at the Pori Spring and Dunscombe Hill from here as well. Again, we're looking to in the westerly direction. And this is St. Thomas Church here. And you can see the sunset as well. Looking towards St. James. So our St. James in Barbados is to the western end of the island. And we are in close proximity to St. James. <coughs> St. Thomas substation to the bar with the Southern Power. Sunset and St. Thomas Parish Church, and again, St. Thomas Parish Church was built in 1836. St. Thomas Parish Church is an Anglican church as well. So, thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening
thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.